Showers of blessings, showers of blessings we need. Mercy drop round are falling, but for the shower. When you were growing up, you used to sing it, but now that you have become a matured African, you left what can lift you. I'm not just saying it must be chanting it, but most people do not know that they have been negative rainmakers to their lives because they have ignored the power of Psalms. Speaking to yourself in Psalms, in hymns. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus Christ and righteousness. I then trust the sweetest friend. Oh, you still remember? On Christ the solid rock I stand On all the ground is sinking sand All on the ground is sinking sand Hallelujah Please listen let me tie up something I'm teaching you because what I'm teaching is very powerful. Do not be drunk with wine wherein is excess, but be ye filled with the Spirit, speaking, speaking in Psalms, speaking in hymns. Then you get to this third dimension, speaking in Speaking in psalms, speaking in hymns, speaking in spiritual songs. They are not just special numbers. You hear me say, You reign, you reign, hello, you reign, you reign, you reign. What is that? Ask Sam who wrote the song that when it came to him, is that his language? Did you not hear the Bible says, though I speak with tongues of men and of angels, there are communications that do not belong to this realm, but are needed in this realm. Are we together now? Tongues is one of them. That when someone begins to pray and you are now even praying in tongues it does not make sense but the bible says you are reacting to the influence of the spirit and although men may not understand there is a programming happening in the realm of the spirit spiritual songs hallelujah listen then the bible says something very interesting it's saying making melody in your heart in your heart how do you do that your heart has a voice is that true she said to herself if i may but touch the hem of his garment Say not to yourself, who shall ascend? Listen, let me tell you this. These are simple but profound mysteries. Paul would not gather in front of God's people and be wasting their time teaching them jargons. These were the ladders that he followed himself to ascend these realms of strange power. Speaking to yourself in Psalms. Psalms means Psalms. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the power of the except the Lord builds a house, they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord watches over the city, they watch it in vain. When the Lord turn again the captivity of Zion. Hold on. 
that means at any point in your life you begin to sense you know how people sorry for the use of words you know how people throw up something within is what causes it isn't it you start feeling you want to throw up that is how it is in the spirit Ta -da 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 -da. For out of my belly shall flow rivers, rivers of living water. a background where no one has risen show me a man surrounded by failure causes poverty but then you know how to be filled with the spirit that the moment the presence of God comes don't keep quiet the next thing is to begin to speak to yourself in Psalms speak to yourself in hymns and spiritual songs Prophetic rainmakers creating a climate of favor, a climate of glory, a climate of grace, a climate of longevity, a climate of power, a climate of possibilities. listen hear me hear me many years ago when this ministry was at its infancy i made a prophetic statement by the spirit and i said we will all be great and that the greater part is we will all know ourselves it was not a suggestion it was a prophetic word that came from the depth of the spirit hallelujah what are you saying in your house or what is speaking in your house sometimes you are not the one saying it but you are allowing demonic atmospheres around your house negative atmospheres let me tell you this i'm sure it has happened to someone where you are soaking yourself in an atmosphere of worship or a message and then you fall asleep and you find out it still continues with a stronger atmosphere of power and sometimes you wake up under such an intense influence adam who told you what have you given permission to speak into your life who have you allowed to program your thinking to program your mind to alter you dear prophet of God who did you start listening to that you stop believing in yourself what did you start listening to that suddenly made you all rules to become a weak person words make strong and words make weak words make wise and words make foolish words bring power and words bring limitations Listen, let me tell you this. When I get up in the morning, sometimes I walk around room to room. Every room in my house is an altar. I don't care whether it's the toilet, whether it's the bathroom. You know, you can have designated places, but it does not matter where. Sometimes the revelation you need can come in the kitchen. You are washing your plates but there is an atmosphere. Shani Salika Bragado And the Spirit of God says now, call that person immediately. 
and you make that call and the person says you are a spiritual man i've been i was just trying to call you and that begins a new season in your life hallelujah can i tell you the truth do you know why many people go to bed and several people have negative demonic atmospheres because they do not pay attention to invest in atmospheres over over seven or eight years ago i preached a message called the law of atmosphere everything that happens on earth is atmosphere dependent destruction is atmosphere dependent breakthrough is atmosphere dependent the growth of your plants agriculturally speaking is atmosphere dependent that means you kill things not by killing them you kill things by taking the atmosphere i mean medical science teaches us that there are advances in medicine right now that are mastering the art of studying viruses and bacteria and certain living organisms they study the habitat that makes them conducive is that true and they create medical mechanisms that try to extract away the atmosphere and that's it it just dies there are many things in my life and your life that have remained because we have kept the atmosphere that promotes it for instance there are many people who come and program negative things in your house because you have not created a system that honors God there. Are we together now? Yes. Some of you, your cars are full of all kinds of things. You drive for 30 minutes and all you are hearing is something that pollutes and destroys your mind. You left your house courageous. By the time you got to that place of the interview, you were already defeated because you had something. Who told you? Who told you? When God was sending us to Abuja, all I needed to know was, God, are you in it? And then grant the grace. Listen, one of the things that by the grace of God, I thank God for the grace to have done is to culture my atmosphere. My atmosphere is very strict. Very strict. Very, very strict. Very, very strict. Very, very strict very very strict you create that because you see many people's destinies depend on your motivation many people's de destinies depend on your inspiration are we together some of us if we check our phones right now and we see what is in your phone both in terms of songs videos etc we will need to plead with you to run and come out right here don't wonder why familiar spirits are, are all around your life they come in response to atmospheres is that true yes sir are we together negative atmospheres ah this nigeria will we ever survive the way this thing is i hope we even see the end of the year and these spirits brood on what you have said. I'm teaching you a technology right now, Koinonia. Listen, I'm not teaching you to ignore realities when you see it. No, there are times we discuss issues. But you must understand that as a spiritual man, the modus operandi of creation is that you must fill your heart with the word of God. And out of the abundance of the heart, alongside the influence of the spirit, you begin to speak. May God bless you. Somebody comes to see you and says, listen, things are not really working well in my life. You are under the influence of the Spirit. When the Spirit of God came upon Elizabeth, remember the mother of John, what did she begin to do? Speaking. You see it happen everywhere. The moment the Holy Ghost mantles people, they begin to speak. Trying to change your confession without allowing the word of God to work on your heart 
will only be hypocrisy that does not carry power there are many people who have tried to do it oh i will try to speak right but they are not interested the content of your heart is what inevitably reveals itself through your words and please hear me next time you speak don't you think you are just using words to explain or using words to inform more than using words as a tool for explanation and information the more superior use of words is for programming because when god spoke the first word there was no man there yet he spoke so in order of priority and by the law of first mention words are not just a channel for information words are not just a channel for enlightenment the most superior use of words is for creation i'm on my way to better days i'm on my way to better days that's my confession and i truly believe it i'm on my way to better days it is true for me it is true for you it is true for koinonia You receive a letter you are being relieved from that job ah father in the name of Jesus I thank you because the Bible says listen every time you don't know what to say start with atmosphere let me teach you a principle every time you do not know what to say just keep quiet program the atmosphere the atmosphere will affect your heart the heart will affect your speaking your speaking will now change or maintain the reality there just to let you know that you lost the business you lost the job it may be painful you may cry because we're humans but while you cry you can just go and set something or for some of you they may even tell you, you you've lost a loved one just like that God this person shouldn't have died and then you go and put something that will program a climate for you and in the midst of that climate the spirit of god have you noticed in the atmosphere of worship you will always hear what he's saying he will begin to encourage you there is hope for a tree even though it be cut down at the scent of water huh. let hope rise darkness trembles in your holy light Please hear me when you understand the prophetic power of this mystery I just taught you indeed you will be a king because you will know how to program things you can imagine as a man of God I get text messages every day some of them good some of them not so nice some of them even conditions about people people in koinonia here and the principles of fatherhood and leadership demands that when something negative happens to someone it touches you and let me tell you there are times you have to train yourself just know that the number one rule for your dominion is atmosphere don't forget this this night the number one rule for your dominion is atmosphere i don't care what is going wrong make sure that you don't lose the atmosphere if you are crying crying in the right cry in the right atmosphere apostle i thought that by now god would have opened that door i thought that by now ah. but lord i give you thanks because your word says in all things i give thanks you are creating an atmosphere father i know that i've looked on to men and it looked like they are not able to help me my uncle gave me a guarantee that the job is coming now the job came and my name is not there father i will not be offended i refuse offense in the name of jesus offense will be a trap that will give the devil access to my life i reject offense in the name of jesus i walk by the law of love but oh god the bible says they looked on to him and their faces were lightened so i look to Yahweh, Yahweh. I'm showing you how to change atmospheres. My hope is Yahweh, Yahweh. So Lord, I look to Yahweh.
let you know that they finally given you the award still you do not throw the atmosphere father thank you praise god from whom all blessings come lord i thank you you are the giver of this and the bible says whatsoever you do it endures therefore i expect my result to endure this is how a spiritual man works are we together this is what i declare over koinonia all the time in the name of jesus i and the ones that god has given me we are for signs and we are for wonders in israel i believe it when I pray for Koinonia, I pray for Koinonia everywhere, US, Europe. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, as you bless me, you are blessing my people. As you lift me, you are lifting them. Yes, sir. Pharaoh, you must let God's people go in the name of Jesus. When you hear something negative, don't grumble around and say, no, it cannot be. That's emotions. That's not a spiritual man's approach. A spiritual man does not jump throwing tantrums. You may cry and do all of that. But when all is said and done, atmosphere. Remember again, atmosphere. And the atmosphere begins to play those worship songs. And your spirit is getting enlarged and strengthened. And you begin to pray. Sometimes you begin to pray in the spirit. And you may pray for hours until it breaks away that limitation. Then you begin to prophesy in the name of Jesus the gates of Abuja open up I decree and declare lift up your heads O ye gates you must become a prophet in your destiny thank God for koinonia but this 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 baby pampering you need to grow out of it win yourself and begin to walk with strong mates hallelujah in the name of Jesus I decree and declare my finances blessed the Lord himself is bringing people to bless me. The work will not suffer. We have supernatural finances. The wisdom of the spirit is at work in us. Week in, week out. The word of God comes in season. We are people of discernment. Speaking to yourself in Psalms. See, this is how we got here. Let me tell you, it is not magic. You are too big to come under the influence of the Holy Spirit and to begin to speak forget about dominion kings reign through their words let me apostle my church is not growing i'm a faithful man of god i love the lord i see visions i can pray for the sick members are not coming because growth is warfare people are not stupid to just leave their homes and come and stand to hear you do you know the amount of devils and demons that stop you from coming here today do you know the amount of excuses the devil orchestrated satan is desperate for your downfall if you ever found yourself here it's a sign that your miracle has started i'm telling you this We are not alone in this world get used to it there are real spirits not only angels not only the holy spirit there is an old story here there are spirits older than everyone and they have not been prohibited from moving to and fro they can still move and let me tell you sooner or later they will land around the vicinity of your family and the, the bible says the whole world lies in not badness wickedness Many of us today are seated here right now. In the next few minutes when we begin to pray, that is when you will wonder. So this thing in my life I thought was a coincidence. It's a pre-programming of wickedness. Let me tell you this. I have seen the wickedness of men and spirits too many times in my little life. I have looked at destinies that I know this person should not be here. But tonight in the name of Jesus, the hand of God will come upon us and that everything that does not name the name of Christ must give way. What about your finances? You thought it's just about business. It is warfare. I've taught you this. The devil, when you have vowed before God that Lord, if you bless me, your kingdom will be advanced. 
and the devil had that prayer. I hope you know when you pray, it's not only God that hears. When you pray, the realm of the spirit hears your prayer. That's why he says, this charge I give unto you, my son Timothy, that you wore a good warfare. As I was prophesying to you, the devil had it. He will not keep quiet. Get up and war a good warfare. I thought the prophecy should work itself. He said, war a good warfare. Otherwise, you will see it in the realm of the spirit, but it will never manifest. Many believers are ignorant of this one thing. There are many families sitting down right now looking at me. And you do not know that if you do not rise. I got several text messages from people. Apostle, this is wrong with me. I, I just replied them and said, come for miracle service. I, I don't know how I'm going to start giving you this explanation. You will learn after you are taught. If I allow you to learn, you may die and never have the opportunity to hear the message. It is something that needs the power of God first. You will grow spiritually, but in the interim, let's deal with the devil for you. So that by the time he is dealt with, you can have the time to grow. I was ministering yesterday, and a precious lady that God touched, I mean, lumps all over her. Can you imagine that kind of wickedness? I think one of them said also that she was operated, and then it returned again. That means it's a living thing. It's only living things that can move. They can go and come. Dead things lie down there. They removed it and it left where they threw it and came back. Is that a dead thing? Now I hear the chains fall. Listen. When God gives you ten naira and it runs away from you, don't you think something is driving it away? Please listen to what I'm telling you. When somebody promises that Sam, I will bless you, and all of a sudden, because he promised to bless you, he starts going down. He intended to bless you. Have you seen people like that? They say, I'm waiting for salary to bless you. The moment they say, I want to bless you, that money will never come. There's something wrong. God gave us intelligence. We are not stupid people. But let me tell you, my brothers and sisters, for as long as you justify darkness, you are not ready for victory. You must get angry and say, no way. Lord, I have come like Jacob. I will not let you go. Some of you travel from far. Some of you are connecting from different parts of the world. Please refuse. Don't come and play games. Lord, there must be an evidence. There must be an evidence. You get pregnant as a Christian, as a tongue-talking Christian. You go to bed and hear these wicked spirits. They come to molest you and in two, three months you've lost the child. The doctors will do their best to support you. But doctors cannot treat spirits. It takes the power of God. It says through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. There are cases that can never be diagnosed medically. Machines don't diagnose spirits. I heard the testimony of a woman. Genuine testimony. Her husband had died. Died and gone to be with the Lord. And a spirit came to her in the dream. And tried to molest her. And within two, three months she, she was pregnant. She noticed she was pregnant from the realm of the spirit. With a physical child. I don't know who made us so carnal that we think we will casually please be careful you watch TV and people trivialize the reality of the realm of the spirit if you are a pastor here listen to me end time ministry is real warfare you are not going to stand and cross your leg at my church to keep growing just because you are reading a novel about church growth no it takes you subduing the powers that be is God speaking to someone tonight? Father, here you need to stand up and take charge. Every father is a priest. You are already ordained as a father, as a priest over your home. And you are not going to watch darkness come and sit down and say it does not matter. That's why men who are not born again and serious with God, it's a serious problem.
you open your shop to sell and there is a pungency there is a sense of repulsion you have everything that should be bought and people leave your shop and go somewhere to queue no. we wrestle not against flesh and blood please listen to me but against principalities and powers and rulers of darkness and the spiritual wickedness they don't reside in hell they are in the heavenly I counseled a man of God, I think it was two or three years ago. The devil, I don't know, the devil uses his face to oppress his members. Like you have a church now, and then you will see my face. I will come with an axe in a dream or something and oppress you. Will you attend that church? And everybody started saying the man is a fake man. Truly, I don't know anything about him. But when I got to meet him, he said, Apostle, what is this? He said, I got born again in the present. I have a history. What is this thing? Everybody is saying I'm a fake man of God. I went to collect power that they see me in dreams. I said, that's it. The enemy has done this. The devil would divide best friends by using the face of a best friend to oppress someone. Then lead that best friend to a, a prophet who may not be fake, but is not spiritually accurate. And he will say, your friend is jealous and wants to kill you. Nonsense! Listen to me. These spirits are actors. They can join you together. They look for where trouble is and guide you. Like the Holy Spirit guides you in all truth. The devil can guide you in all trouble. Police is about to arrest a thief. You find out that you are, you are passionate about leaving home to go there. You were minding your business. But now you just get somewhere and they arrest all of you. It's not normal. It's not normal. It's not normal. We need miracles. So we need real divine interventions. We need the hand of God to come upon our lives. We need the grace of God. You are in your office with all kinds of people. Listen, one of the things we have to learn is that not everybody is born again. I think we are used to the fact that we are all born again around a circle. So because of that, you believe that the same way in your office, everyone is born again. Let me tell you, there are people who are fraternized with darkness to a realm and a level that accepts you are powerful indeed. They will not only destroy you, they will destroy you slowly. Hallelujah. I think he was here. I don't know which month. I hope maybe the family may even be here. They brought for me a medical student. The final year, last session, the lady just became mad. Is it because of reading? Is she the first to go to school? It's a spirit. A woman labors on her daughter, my brothers and my sisters. And just when this woman is about to reap the reward of her labor, have you not heard of people who graduated on their way going back home to celebrate? A bike comes out from nowhere. There is no bike that comes out from nowhere. Thou shalt not be afraid of the arrows that fly by day, not the noisome pestilence. Well, you can choose to believe what I'm telling you, or you can choose to allow time proof to you. That this life does not joke. If Jesus himself got up early in the morning to pray and put everything in order. He says, knowest thou the ordinances of heaven and canst thou establish their dominion upon the earth thereof. I've shared with you how many times I'm, I want to take a trip. And somebody, genuine prophet, genuine, some of them are my friends. And send me a text and say, Apostle, be careful. I saw an accident. I saw this. That is the plan of the devil. But the ability to know his plan and conquer it is where victory comes from. Listen to me. It is selfish to forget about your family. And forget the... Let me tell you this. You know Esther was going to make a mistake. The same mistake of Vashti, Esther was about to make it. She was about to forget her people and the purpose for which she went to the palace. And Mordecai said, don't think that when they are done with us, you will be spared. 
sometimes when the devil wants to destroy you he will leave the most powerful person to continue while he destroys every other person do you know that their going down will affect you spiritually tonight we came for serious business I vowed a vow that I'm not going to waste the time of any of God's people no this, this, this ministry is not a museum this is the place where we dislodge darkness you, you have to return with a testimony a woman called me one time she had this son whether he joined friends or so and went somewhere I don't know what he went to go and do this young boy maybe about 10 or 11 started hearing voices physical voices like word of knowledge sometimes they can tell him kill yourself or pour hot water you know you, you know that it's of the devil when the instruction does not carry the life of God God will never ask you to pour hot water on your body how does it glorify Jesus the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy and this boy continued to do all these kinds of things and i told her i said mama thank god you brought this boy this boy would die for nothing one day hell is rearming itself to make sure there is an onslaught an assault against the body of christ and many times we are just crossing our legs listen i need you to know i've taught you about warfare we teach warfare correctly we are not people who fight from a standpoint of foolishness we are standing from a standpoint of victory but that establishment you must do it otherwise victory will not be automatic hebrews chapter 2 he says but we do not yet see all things under his feet please let me say this respectfully be careful who you listen to and be careful the content of the spiritual information you are giving just because people are sincere may not mean their communications are balanced and accurate listen to what i'm telling you many people have become casualties of imbalanced spiritual communications jesus told us everywhere in his crusade demons came they were not afraid of Jesus' own crusade. Demons, they followed people. They didn't wait outside and enter later on. They came. Imagine Jesus in a crusade. Praise the Lord. The people shouted hallelujah. And the demons were still in them. And they did not go. When the word is not engaged, it does not have any power to do anything. A spirit can sit down. The same way some of you are sitting quietly now. As sincere and innocent as you are. In the next few minutes, you will be surprised what will be happening in your own life. And then you will see doors that have been closed opening like this. Then you will know that these doors were not closed by mistake and will not be opened by mistake. Everything good comes to everybody except you. The moment is your turn, something terrible happens. A gentleman just sees you and says, Beautiful lady, can I go and see your parents? And that's the end of it. His business goes down, his life goes down, everything crashes until he leaves you, then he goes back up. Do you believe what I'm teaching you? Hmm. So while it is true that it's the Holy Spirit, that ultimately creates conviction the manifestation of the miraculous in our lives and in the church you know when i came down you need to see the multitudes of people outside there are people sitting on the soccer way here my brothers and my sisters listen you went to school do you think human beings are stupid do you think someone will transport himself from another nation or another state some of you have not eaten since you came you came straight to sit down is god so wicked to sit down and allow you carry your trouble and go back. Oh, not Koinonia. I welcome you to a place where God has given us the keys to deal with everything that is not of God. I saw so many people standing outside the overflow by the roadside. And compassion just gripped my heart. I said, imagine if I were one of these people. And they were happily standing. They were not complaining. 
they just knew that if I may but touch the hem of his garment. My brothers and my sisters, let me tell you. Forgive me if it sounds proud, but God has given us something. Let me tell you sincerely. We, we make bold and we ask the world to come and receive because he has given us something. I told you last week, you only knock a door that you don't have the key. When you have a key, you, don't, you stop knocking, you open. That's the same way your destiny will be opened. The Lord declared prophetically that this is a year of extraordinary fruitfulness. So in a meeting like this, if I were you, my heart is stayed on that word. Listen, let me tell you. Please listen. You see me teaching passionately, we are going to pray. When I teach like this, huh, I don't teach as a preacher. I come with my heart full of a burden. Are you getting what I'm saying? I come sincerely with my heart full of a burden because I love God, but I love His people too. My greatest satisfaction is not my personal progress. It's seeing the hand of God made manifest in your life. When instructions are given, when these spiritual things are given, you must open your heart to believe them. You see, the, the gospel works with the simplicity of childlike faith. Sometimes many of us carry this Trado African pride and that's what stops us from receiving God wants to step in and touch you and you are wondering will God really touch me you know my peculiar problem you know the name Abba are you the first to be in trouble God knows how to deliver the righteous from trouble let me tell you this I don't care what the situation is but I want us to agree that this God of heaven, uh, the king of the universe, that he will arise for you tonight. You see, let me tell you this. My prayer this year, when I was fasting and praying this year, I prayed a prayer. I said, Lord, some people don't know what a testimony is. Give them one. They only know how other people's testimonies. The Lord did this for this, but they have never had a testimony themselves. The day you have a real testimony yourself, it will humble you. You wouldn't know whether to stand or to kneel down. That's what I'm praying for you for today. A testimony. Testimony. When the hand of God comes in a meeting and upon a man, you see, let me tell you this. The supernatural is not just falling down and roll. You can fall down and roll from left to right and stand up and go back and not testify. The proof that God came is the testimony that follows. The testimony. The testimony of Jesus. The testimony of Jesus. Apostle, I came here barring much miracle service. By April miracle service, I'm one month pregnant. That's a testimony. Listen, come David down. When the devil oppresses your life, destroys everything about you, he uses men as a canvas to write a letter to God that your dominion and your royalty is still being contested with. Oppression is a letter sent through men to God, the highest of God's creation. The devil rides upon your life. I will destroy the family and I will make sure everyone begs. Like you send a, um, a chat, send. And then a miracle is God's reply. That God rides through you and says, in spite of this, I am still on the throne. It's true. I believe in miracles. I honestly and truthfully believe in miracles. I believe in principles. I believe in mysteries. But I believe in divine intervention. My brothers and my sisters, God can shorten a man's journey. What then is the excellency of his mercy? Listen. God is a God of process. I agree. Listen carefully. God is a God of principles. I agree. He will not excuse laziness and he will not excuse spiritual laxity. But let me tell you, when blind Bartimaeus said, Thou son of David, 
have mercy on me. The mercy of God can shorten the journey of a man. If you get born again at age 40, do you know how long it takes to know God? Genuinely know God? You don't read your Bible in two months and know God. But there's something the Spirit of God can do and give you a solid encounter that in six months you have caught up with the spiritual level of more than five years. How about restoration? Your parents started building from 1999 till today it has stopped at Linter level. Right there. You went to school and said, I'm going to pay it and finish everything. The day you said you will pay it, you almost died. I made a vow with my life that I would believe this word and I will engage it. Life is too risky to be careless with spiritual laws. Engage it. Don't wait until the devil kills your life and your children before. You know, many believers learn too late. Let me say this and thank God for his mercy you will receive. But do you know there are some of you, the Lord spoke to you about coming here since last year. You've been arguing and giving reasons and excuses. Your situation would not have been that bad. But thank God because although Lazarus was three days dead, Jesus is still the resurrection and the life. Not only the healer. When I prayed, I told the Lord, I said, please Lord, give people a testimony. Real testimonies. I was blind. Now I see. God did something in three weeks to my finances. Everybody see what God can do. God transformed my family. God turned me around and did something for me. I don't doubt your love for God. But there must be proofs of that love. There must be proofs of that love. Somebody shout, Lord, give me an evidence. Say, Lord, give me an evidence. I believe in proofs. John chapter 4 and verse 48. I'll begin to pray shortly. Bless you. 4 verse 48. He says, And Jesus said unto him, Who was speaking here? Jesus. Except ye see signs and wonders, ye will not believe. How true. How true. That there are so many people in your family, until they see what the power of God does in your life, they will never believe your God. They think God is one of those things. This is a charm. This is this. This is that. And then God is one of them. But the day like Dagon, all those gods fall before the Almighty God. And you return back with a solid evidence. Let me tell you that day, like Pharaoh, your loved ones will confess that this your God is God. Are we together? So I want you to be serious. Don't sit down and just look around and say, ah, who is going to receive? Let me clap for him. No. It's an insistence. It's a desperation. Except ye see miraculous signs, you shall not believe. Luke chapter 5. We we'll read the first 11 verses. That miracles can help to create solid convictions. Charles and Francis Hunter, powerful evangelists, they've gone to be with the Lord now. They wrote a book that a miracle is worth a thousand words. I believe them. I believe them. The world is tired of our noise and our stories. They want to see a demonstration and a manifestation of the reality of the life and the power of God. It says, and it came to pass as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God. He stood by the lake of Gennesaret. Next verse please. And saw two sheep standing by the lake. But the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets. Uh -huh. We are reading to 11. And he entered into one of the sheep, which was Simon's. And prayed him that he would thrust out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the sheep. Next verse. Now when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, Launch out into the deep and let your nets for a drought. Five. What happened? Simon answering said, 
Master, we have toiled all night. In other words, he said, Lord, look, you are not the first to pray for me. A man of God prayed for me in Zaria. Another man prayed in wherever. You know, so God is one of those things. You bless me. Oh, yeah, do it. Master, we have toiled all night. Not for a few hours. All night. Night vigil, looking for a fish. And did not catch even one. It says, nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. Six. And when they had this done, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes. And they are seven. And they beckoned unto their partners, which were in the other ship, that they should come and help them. And they came and filled both ships. Miracles can create relationships. That you get a miracle. And partners that were minding their business, you can say, come and join me. Who will not follow someone with results? Who will not? Let me tell you, the Bible talks about a wealthy man. Um, how did he put it now? A poor man that we, even with much entreaties, they will run away from him. There are many people that come from where we come from and will pass us as if they don't know us. Because you represent shame. And anything that looks like Ichabod, the departure of the glory, men will usually find a way to excuse it from. But the Bible says you will be called Beulah and Hephzibah. A delight. And they came and filled both sheep so that they began to sing. Verse 8. When Simon Peter saw this, look at this. This is what miracles do. He fell down at Jesus' knees saying, Depart from me, I'm a sinful man. Was a sermon preached? A serious miracle happened. And that miracle created conviction. The same way some of you have been laughing at men of God sincerely. And laughing at everything that has to do with the power of God. And by the time we'll be sharing the grace tonight, you will stand. And go back quietly, not talking to anybody. And say, I've seen today. I heard with my ears like Job. But I've seen with my eyes that God is real. And His power is real. His grace is real. Nine. For He was... This is what led to the repentance. He was... So men can be astonished to repentance. That they look at your life and say, promise, when did this happen? When did God lift you? Was it not last year? Together we were discussing. And you tell him, there is a name God is called, though, the lifter of men. The lifter of men. Let me tell you, my brothers and my sisters, run away from anybody who tells you results don't matter. They do. They do. Out of the abundance of the evidence of the workings of God in your life, the nations will bow to your God. They will never bow to you just because you are talking. Man of God, hear me. No result, you have empty pews. There's no way around it. There must be an evidence. A serious evidence. When John questioned the messiahship of Jesus. He didn't answer with a statement. He said, go and tell John what you have seen. The blind see. The dead hear. The dead are raised. And the gospel is preached to the meek. And then he says, blessed is he that is not offended. So the moment there are no miracles, the messiahship of the Christ is questioned. John himself, the one who ordained Jesus, said, go and ask him. Is he the messiah? Miracles confirm that Jesus is the Messiah. God is not a herbalist. He's not a herbalist that is ahead of other herbalists. No. Wherefore God has so highly exalted him and given him a name. There are people who have names. Politicians have names. Businessmen have names. Captains of industry. Gatekeepers of mountains have names. But my brothers and my sisters, there is a name. It says there is no other name under heaven given to man by which we must be saved. And it's in that name tonight that we will wreak havoc in the kingdom of darkness. The miraculous manifests the glory of God and causes people 
to not only believe God but to trust God John chapter 2 and verse 11 the first miracle of Jesus what we call the miracle at the wedding of the Cana of Galilee he turned water to wine the Bible says this beginning of miracles this beginning of not this beginning of sermons not this beginning of discussions this beginning of miracles did Jesus in Cana of Galilee and manifested forth his glory and the disciples believed on him believed on him we believe in the God that heals and saves and delivers that's why we kept the seats for you that's why we, we knew you would come because the hand of God will bring you and we knew you would not be disappointed brothers and sisters there is a God in heaven God is not a herbalist don't let your pain demean him he is still the king of the universe the whole world lieth in wickedness Acts chapter 10 and verse 38 how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power and he went about doing good it takes the manifestation of the power of God to do good and healing all they that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him for God was with him for God was with him. We are going to pray. You have to convince yourself. It's going to be a quick walk. And we are going to cry to God. And say Lord whatever I carry from my house. Whatever I carry from my place of work that I brought before you. It should not return back with me. It should be clear and evident that I met the Lord Jesus Christ. It should be clear and evident. Right where you are sitting, you will soon stand up, but right where you are sitting, I'd like you to talk to the Lord. Please be serious and be desperate. Lord, I have come to you. I've come to you. I've come to you. I've come to you. My life must be changed. My finances must be changed. My destiny must be changed. Lord, I've come to you as a pastor. I've come to you as a prophet, as an apostle. There has to be greater oil upon my life. Lord, I hear you are a restorer. Restore me. Online, please make sure you are praying. Those outside, make sure you are praying. There is a God that answers prayer. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, it says we were like them that dream. And our mouths were filled with laughter. And said they among the heathen, the Lord has done great things for them. It says the Lord has done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Turn again our captivity like the streams of the Negev. Turn again our captivity. There is a God that can turn around the captivity of men. Pray. Doesn't matter where you are seated, doesn't matter where you are connecting from. The power of God is able to save to the uttermost. Shalabarada Katos. Father, I'm praying. That infirmity in my body must leave this night. That financial situation must die this night. That oppression that has kept my family down. The 
did the Bible not say this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith? and I'll begin to minister by the Spirit. Your own assignment is to receive. You have come. Let me tell you something. There is enough grace to solve whatever challenge it is that has plagued you. Yours is to believe in the power of God. It says if you will believe, you will see the glory of God. If you will believe, you will see the glory of God. If you will believe, you will see the glory of God. If you will believe, you will see the glory of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. A lady, the power of God is going to come upon a lady outside. Please carry her and bring her now. There is a lady I'm seeing. I just saw light from in here. Write the power of God upon that lady. Please bring her. Please bring her. And then bring the someone on this road. I'm seeing like like a smoke just going round. And it's like he's locating someone. The power of God is going to come on someone. Please speak the person and bring the person out. You reign. You reign. Hello, King. You reign. the lady from outside I cross the hand of captivity over your life in the name of Jesus Christ I cross the hand of captivity over your family in the name of Jesus I saw a lot of oppression over the life of this lady and in the name of Jesus we silence the voice of wickedness we silence the voice of wickedness hold on please the Lord is showing me something right now. 
I saw this while I ministered in Abel Kuta. I started seeing snakes on the ground. Snakes on the ground. And that's what I'm seeing right now. And this is, this is the manifestation of a spirit. And there are many families that are under this yoke. Whether you believe it or not, just let me minister to you. I'm declaring right now, the power of God is going to start coming on people that represent those families. Bring them out. You are not shouting anything. You are not saying anything. Bring them out. I'm speaking by the Spirit. The Word of God has been declared. There are families. I'm seeing serpents, snakes, snakes. Inside and outside, bring them. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. And the captives of the mighty, by the fire of the Holy Spirit, I trust those spirits wherever you are, represented in anyone here, represented in anyone here. I speak by the hand of God. You wait, you wait. Hello, Bring them out. I'm still on that page. The power of God is still rotating people. I'm still slave. In the name of Jesus, I'm still praying. We are not doing too many things tonight. We are going to the root of many people's challenges. I'm saying it again. There are still spirits. And I speak by the anointing of the Spirit of God. Wherever they are, overflow one, two, three, across the road. I'm declaring judgment, judgment upon those spirits. The fire of God is coming upon you right now. Whether you are standing for yourself or for your family, bring them out. There is no escape. For when his voice comes, they come out from their hiding place. Hallelujah. Now listen, there are people I'm seeing something that looks like a knife being inserted in people and I'm seeing people beginning to run just run when you see people doing that hold them and bring them the Lord is bringing deliverance that one is not speed this one is not the prayer for speed I'm just telling you as the Lord is showing me right now I decree and declare I don't know those that the Lord is cutting them free from every kind of diabolism but I stretch my hands by the Spirit I command judgment on every force judgment on every power in the name of Jesus Christ the hand of God is coming upon them you will begin to see them run around just running it's, it's, it's not a, a making of their own it's by the power of the Holy Ghost bring them out Oh, 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 my help has come. Oh, 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 oh my help. Oh, 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 oh. 
Hallelujah. The Lord is giving me an instruction right now. Now we are ready to shout. Listen. The Lord is opening my eyes. And I'm seeing what looks like a grave. And the Lord is saying he is delivering families from the power of the grave. In the name of Jesus Christ. And at the count of three. Any family, whether territorially or by whatever connection is tied to the spirit of the grave i'm declaring at the count of three as you shout jesus the power of god is setting you free one two three the spirit of the grave the spirit of the grave the spirit of the grave i cost you by the god of heaven the spirit of the grave I taught you by the God of heaven. Just follow me this night. Now, I'm praying for all those in front. They came out because the Lord showed something. I declare by the power of God that the legal access of darkness over your life is broken and at the count of three i speak to this spirit release everything you have taken from this family one two go 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 out of their lives out of their destiny out of their life out of their destiny i command a release i command a release i command a release release breakthrough Release open door. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Please just pay attention and let God help you. You came here tonight to receive. Listen to me. The Lord is ministering to me that there are people you dare not go to bed. Someone must come in your sleep and try to sleep with you. Or it may happen once in a while. This is a strange oppression of darkness. And I declare, I'm praying right now. I'm seeing fire all over this place. Because there are many people. That is the root cause of many oppressions in your life. At the count of three, you will shout that name again. That is above every other name. And some of you will feel something leaving you immediately. I declare that all these spirits that molest the saints and manipulate dreams and visions. At the count of three, let there be emancipation. One, two, get ready. Three. I command those spirits, go now. Strangers of the night. Strangers of the night. Help that gentleman. Strangers of the night. Bring them out. Strangers of the night. I caught you by the God of heaven. Molesting the saints. Planting sicknesses in their bodies. Hello, Kim Madonna. Madonna a certain family here I'm seeing that they tied the family to the covenant of a stone something that has to do with a stone I don't know what that means and in what tribe but I'm seeing a covenant that has to do with being tied to a stone I don't know if it's for protection or for whatever but in the name of Jesus I'm praying right now by the power of the Holy Spirit 
that any fraternity with the elements of Christ let it be broken now in the name of Jesus help them please let it be broken now in the name of Jesus fraternity with stones and elements and strange fires of the night be free in the name of Jesus be free in the name of Jesus the mysteries behind the strange hardship of people the mysteries behind the oppression of people oppression of families doors doors are opening that's what I'm seeing in the spirit doors doors some of you will feel fire on your hands fire on your hands doors are opening two leaf gates in the spirit fire on your hands you will know by the fire that comes to your hand i'm seeing fire coming on people's hands that's what i'm seeing in the realm of the spirit doors opening you must testify doors opening doors opening doors opening eight long doors eight long doors that have been closed for many years I'm seeing an angel of the Lord stand just at the back of this young man. Please shift, my friend. These four ladies, one, two, three, four. I'm seeing an anointing on you people. One, two, three, four. I don't know what it is that God is taking out, but I'm seeing like chains being taken from your feet. Chains being removed. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. I saw an angel stand there. Chains being taken up from your feet. In the name of Jesus Christ. Chains being taken from off your feet. Listen. Let me explain something. Hi dear, there is no doubt that your December is already shining, your December is already bright. As we step into the month of December, through the prophecies, the declarations, the word of knowledge, through the prayers that has been released by God's servant, Apostle Joshua Selman, I know your life is definitely set to change. I believe that you have received an encounter, and if so, engage it by faith believe every bit of the word of the lord that has come for your life for your family for your neighbors for your loved ones and for your wife for your children for your husband believe it hold on to it by faith and ensure these things come to pass and the bible said faith is truly the substance of things hoped for and on our scripture speaking and he said all things that I've said to you said believe it believe it believe it I like you to believe the word of the Lord as it has come to you believe it and God bless you see you in 2024